In this video series, I've addressed every major point of editing and revising that I could think of. I hope it's done some good, and for those of you who left such great comments on my videos, thank you. But most of all, I'm just glad that I could help you understand some of these different concepts. That was my goal, and even if I only helped two or three people, I consider that a success. Plus, you liked my puppets. That being said, we have almost reached the end. Once you've tackled each of these major concepts discussed in the different videos, once you've ironed out your story arcs and untangled your plot snarls, once you think you have achieved the absolute best possible story that you can write, set it aside. That's right. Another six weeks at the least. When enough time has passed, give it another read-through. And then, that's when it's time to find some good critical feedback. As a general rule, you don't want to go to family and friends for opinions about your novel because they will tell you that they love it and that you are brilliant, but what you really want is some good critiquing. So find a writer's group. Check with your local library, or your bookstore, or your NaNoWriMo group. If all else fails, you can find a writer's group online. On Figment.com, you might get one of the really good reviewers to give you their brutally honest opinion on your work. You want some third-party opinions for several reasons. First of all, at this point, you are very close to your story, and you are in all likelihood completely blind to its remaining flaws. Or you could be so attached to these flaws that you don't want to get rid of them and it takes somebody else nudging you before you figure out that the story would be much better off without it. These readers in a writer's group are seeing the story with fresh eyes and they will hone in on any inconsistencies or illogical events. Also, you get to test your story, your style, even your sense of humor on an unbiased audience and see how it works with the common Joe whether some of it is over the top or whether some of it is too subtle. Last but not least, they might give you some excellent ideas that you might not have even been able to fathom. You'll want to do another revision after this, taking into account these critiques. And don't make any changes that you don't feel comfortable with. It's still your story, and the decision to change something is still yours. But sometimes someone else figures out what might be best for your story. After this, you're going to want to start working on query letters, finding editors, and researching different agents you might want to represent you. And if you want to go the self-publishing route, that's cool too, but still invest in the editor. Seriously. You may want to set the story aside once more and then read through it again, but you are probably nearing the final stages. Writing is hard work. Revising is hard work. Editing is also hard work. It's the truth. You will go through many drafts, and you will get overwhelmed, but that's natural. Below, I've linked a hilarious and very, very true blog post entitled Rant on Revisions. And with that, my dear viewer, I will leave you. Thanks for joining me, and please continue to enjoy this video series. Remember that finishing a novel is hard, but it's also rewarding. Don't give up just because it gets difficult. Keep moving forward. Yeah, that was a blatant Meet the Robinsons quote.